gastro pubs have been a staple of the UK since the 90s and now offer a wide variety of food and drinks. For the great taste of Cheltenham, we're checking out a few in and around town. First stop on our gastro pub crawl is the Gloucester Old Sport, a family run business that's been around for 20 years. They get their meat from two local butchers. The eggs come from two miles down the road. So you know these guys are the definition of fresh. Let's check it out. Well, I think the building dates from about 1720. It's gone through reincarnations over the year, but it's always stayed true to its heritage, which is a country pub that welcomes a broad cross-section of the community and visitors to Gloucestershire and Cheltenham. And so we can get workmen who've come in working off the fields all day and have a pint of cider, and yet people who come in and have a really nice, properly made a meal experience. And all of those people interacting, for me, is what an English pub really is. This is an aspirational meal for pigs across the UK. Everything on here is tailorable. You can change it around to suit your dietary requirements, which I think is essential. My love for this meal is gastronomical. Next on our gastro tour of Cheltenham is The Tavern, known as the friendliest pub in Cheltenham, but we don't care about that. We're here for the food. Let's do it. We take a lot of inspiration from America, Europe, some African inspiration, but we make sure everything's locally sourced. Good wine menu, good cocktail list, local beers. People, when they come here, it's not just a quick in and out a burger they can sit here for hours enjoy the company of the staff as well as the food and the drinks so it's like it's an atmosphere it's an environment that we're trying to create i really want to try this one buttermilk chicken breast with frank's hot sauce and blue cheese dressing softness of the bun crispiness of the chicken that sweet and spicy taste coming from the buffalo sauce and the blue cheese dressing. That is a burger designed for the burger connoisseur. The tavern has so many great dishes on the menu that will cater for everybody's desires. We've only skinned the surface. So your best bet is to come in and try everything on there. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this and then get ready for our next gastro pub. Ooh, mama. Our last stop today is the railway, and I'm not talking about no train station, I'm talking about home to Smokey Fifi's Thai street food. Something a little bit different to finish off our gastro pub crawl. I'm excited, I hope you are. Let's do it. Gastro pub for me is about giving customers like a really great dining experience without losing out on that kind of pub feeling. But having that little kind of niche corner as well where you can make your own and do something a little bit different. Which is one of the things I love about Cheltenham, there's so many cool little independent like bars that are doing great drinks but also doing great food that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find in pubs. And I think we've managed to do that really well here. Our kitchen's run by a couple from Bangkok called Chat and Tao. Whilst we do have that sort of traditional Thai restaurant vibe, we also have put the barbecue spin on it. And yeah, I think that's really like our niche in terms of the food is just, uh, we do Thai food, but we do it with that twist and we do it really, really well. I was not expecting this. This smell makes me feel like I'm on holiday transported to the other side of the world. It looks just too tantalizing, it looks scintillating. That's what it looks, scintillating. As we tuck into this smorgasbord of delicacies and flavors, I'd like to take a moment to thank Marketing Cheltenham and Cheltenham Bid for inviting us, the Taste Plug, along to the great taste of Cheltenham. It has been great and very tasty, and until next time, see you soon. <laughs>